revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Bye, Bat. <laughs> this is Selena. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played here, including you. It's the Waynes. <laughs> well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. Tell me, all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. My money has never corrupted me. And I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Falcone, the papers, they were telling the truth. Everyone knew about this but me. I know it's a lot to take in. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me.
How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well-known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. He got careless. Criminals always do. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes, we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. So, und damit, hey, schön, dass ihr wieder dabei seid. Ich bin Ero Shiva und das ist Batman. Und zwar die zweite Episode von dem Telltale-Spiel. Ich habe die jetzt erstmal quatschen lassen, war ja doch ziemlich viel und ziemlich krass. So, dann untersuchen wir doch mal diesen Ort hier. Was kann ich hier noch alles anklicken? Eigentlich nur... Ah ne, hier das Graffiti kann ich noch und Kino. Okay, schauen wir erstmal die Nebengasse an. I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents killer? The possibilities are frightening. I'd only want to ask him one question. Why? My parents could have given him anything. Why would he just shoot them? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Okay. Schauen wir uns das Graffiti an. He just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. No, it's just too bad he wasn't honest as well. He had his flaws, yes. But you more than anyone should be able to appreciate that he was a complicated man. Hmm. Das Kino. I love that movie. I saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. Mm -hmm. I never knew that. She was always yeah. so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. But do I really want to know? Wer weiß, wer da geschossen hat? Vielleicht hat er. Kann der erste Schuss gar nicht von dem. Anklicken kann ich nichts. Bruce, stay back! Take whatever you want! Nothing personal, just business. He told me you had it coming. You. you don't have to do this. Oh, 
heftig. Bruce, are you all right? It wasn't a bug. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Dann fragen wir ihn doch mal. Puh, heftig, der arme kleine Junge. Dass der nicht einen größeren Knacks hat als Erwachsener. Okay. But getting you in to see Falcone like this, I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that hard, okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. I gave him some evidence against Falcone. Uh, more like a catalog of his entire criminal empire. It's a case that'll put Falcone away for life. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. <laughs> Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just Montoya. wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. <laughs> We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but... He held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Well, whoever he is behind that mask, I say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. Just say what you got to say. We'll be out here. Ich bin echt gespannt, was der jetzt zu sagen hat. Oder ob er überhaupt was zu sagen hat. Oh Gott. Kinder von Arkham. The hell? Bruce Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. We need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth in here. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Going back decades. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two 
killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. But you, you showed me the door. We are not family, Falcone. I'm nothing like you. If you're anything like Thomas Wayne, then we're not so different. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Oh ja. Aber nur so viel, dass er sprechen kann. Sonst kann er nicht sich mit mir unterhalten. 40 years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I'm not a murderer. No, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha, she had the human touch. <laughs> Think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. But nine. you really think I hired Chill? Sure. <sighs> I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that the <gasps> Scheiße! Was geht denn jetzt ab? Was? Oh nein, ich hab die nicht. Ich hab die nicht. Was ist denn mit der los? Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Okay. Also der Falconi war's wohl auch nicht. Und der wollte es mir gerade erzählen. Nein! Und irgendwie sah sie ganz komisch aus. Die hatte so komische Streifen im Gesicht. Ich glaube, ich glaub, die hat irgendwas bekommen. Die ist irgendwie mutiert oder so. Oh, scheiße. Was geht denn jetzt ab? Okay. We are in deep shit. Ja. I bought us some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. <sighs> It's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Tony's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. Uh, the simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts, like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Mm. Oh, Christ. Scheiße. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. <sighs> Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Ah. <sighs> 
Alfred. Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Okay, ähm, was? Ich bin es leid, diese Art von Anrufen von dir zu bekommen. Her veins, still visible beneath her skin. Ja. Was ist da los? Nacken. Fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Mhm. Mm Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the result. Hmm. Da hat sie wohl wirklich irgendwas bekommen. Oh, Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talked big about hurting thugs like Falcone. But I would never, never betray the lieutenant everything is so foggy i remember a sharp pain there's an injection site on your neck then i just felt light like i could do whatever i wanted no guilt no consequence there was a voice in my ear insisting falcone was gonna get off and all i knew was that i had to stop that I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't, they were a million miles away. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I... I don't think so. You Verdammt. must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Männlich, weiblich, was für eine Stimme. Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. Right, we stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Yeah. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Mm. What, what are you doing here? My friends in the in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown. I'm I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Always digging for a story, huh? So it's true. I didn't say that. Word is you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate Prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. You're fishing. You don't have anything. Now if you'll excuse me. You should talk to me, Bruce. This is coming out whether you stonewall me or not. Auf einmal wird's nicht mehr übersetzt. <lacht> okay. 
Er hat halt gesagt, dass sie... Ja, eigentlich das, was ich angeklickt habe. Dass ich ihr nichts gebe. Und dass sie im Trüben fischt, sozusagen. Dass sie nichts hat. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. <laughs> yeah. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Mm. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. So, und damit sind wir am Ende der ersten Folge angelangt. Ich finde, das ist ein richtig geiler Auftakt für die zweite Staffel. Und ja, ich hoffe, ihr seid bei der nächsten Folge auch wieder dabei. Vielen Dank fürs Dabeisein. <lacht> Zweimal dabei. Und ja, tschüss.